A spiritual portal is any person, place, or object that acts as a channel for unrelated spiritual beings to travel to and from the physical realm we know as Earth. It is usually a natural place that draws or generates energy. The main differences between a vortex and a portal. A portal is an opening or a gateway or bridge to another world. And a vortex is a spiral or pull of energy, sometimes attached to locations or created by geomagnetic forces. They can be similar except vortexes are often 2D in appearance and portals appear to be more conical in shape. Occasionally, vortices can become portals. Where portals usually exist, the most common human-made portals include entry points such as mirrors, doorways and windows, and anywhere energy can concentrate in a tunnel-like shape. Those in spirit often enter our houses through doors, especially if we live near a busy street or through a window. Windows are a popular portal of angels and guides because windows are places where energy is magnified. Anywhere energy can concentrate and flow through both ways can become portal. Waterfalls, geological divides, fissures in the earth, riverways, all of these can be portals. Anything with a porous osmotic boundary can become a portal such as sources of organic materials, including the human body. Anything with high heat or energy holding capacity also makes an excellent source of material for a portal. Anything where magnetic energy concentrates which can be related to the geological makeup of the area, can be a portal. Places where individuals are crossing over into the realm of spiritual frequency, such as hospitals or nursing homes, can be portals. Since many spirits were once human, and humans are permeable beings, humans can also act as portals, especially humans that do healing work when humans are portals, we have another name for them. We call them channels. What is not a portal? Though they may seem like it, objects such as Ouija boards and things uh, like oracle cards are not technically portals on their own. They are tools that can be used to connect with a spirit and energy already present. However, a collection of tools in one place over a long period of time could create a portal, forming a large enough energy draw to create a space where energy is drawn. While spirits can be attached to furniture, objects, and buildings, these examples are also technically called attachments, not portals. Think of portals as conical energy draws. They can be semi-permanent or temporary, and may exist only for one or two nights, depending on what is going on in our galaxy. If you have a flowing energy space that you think could be a portal in your home, it's possible to clear a portal in your home or even redirect the energy for good. Simply use feng shui, crystal greeting, and other energy clearing techniques, such as Reiki or shamanistic practices. You can also cross over spirits that may come through the portal. Spirits that enter in high energy areas, while they may be plentiful at first, can be crossed over, managed, talked to. Eventually, over time after routine cleaning, you may be able to reset the energy flow. Many things can draw the spirits in, and for many reasons, think of a portal more like an energy spring. They can be positive or negative, created through magnetic forces, geologic, or even by human centers of energies. For those who live in and around the positive energy portals, they can make life more joyous. Negative ones make it difficult to sleep. Portals can be strengthened over the time through collective human thoughts, making it so in some spaces it is easier to reach or access 
certain entities than others. If you have a portal nearby you, you can actively open and close yourself to it using an essential oils, energy clearing rituals, and energy expanding visualizations. The flow of this energy through a portal may ultimately be strengthened through continued prayer, meditation, and an effort to cycle that type of energy through space. The best time to align to a portal is when it becomes activated and strengthened through the above, but you can do these exercises anytime. You can visualize it running through the energy center to charge or clear a portal. You can also go to known portal locations such as vortices to clear your own energy. No spirit portal exists without a vacuum, meaning they all affect those around them and are influenced by the area they're in. It helps to know what they are, where they could be, and how one can influence or how you can affect it. To clear a portal, for a smoother energy flow or as the act of service for all of earth kind, try directing white or golden light through it. You can do this by using divining rods. You can also do it with your intention. You can ask the help of your guides to help you locate the portals and remove them and then reopen them with a positive. And portals are conical energy masses that move energy and spirits and they can be created and many exist naturally. You can work with a portal to shape the energy and over time change it. You can clear a portal to flush more positive energy through it. So to recap, portals are conical energy masses that move energy and spirits. They can be created and many exist naturally. You can work with a portal to shape the energy and over time change it. You can clear a portal to flush more positive energy through it.